Why is it that it's looking like I have met this person and say, therefore the president of IPU has over, all of a sudden become a monster? Please treat me with dignity the same way I am treating with you, you with dignity. Here is your latest Africa news. Inter-parliamentary unions President Tulia Axon, who hails from the East African country of Tanzania, called for members to treat her with dignity during a heated meeting of the Assembly in Geneva on Monday. This came after racist and disrespectful attacks by Western countries backing Ukraine. The dispute began when Artur Gerasimov, Ukraine's representative, called for a full protocol report of her meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, asking if IPU resolutions about Russian aggression were discussed. Gerasimov and other Western representatives repeatedly attempted to interrupt the IPU president and retake the floor before she could respond. After having enough of the disrespect, IPU president Tulia Axon finally clapped back. Listen to what she had to say. So you have already spoken. You were given a chance to speak here. Give me, give me time to first address the, the governing council, respond to the issues that were raised. Then we go back to the agenda because the agenda is very long and we only have one hour from now. Please, please, can you hold on? Thank you. This it was to begin with Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine responded the dates that were, we were ready to visit them. Mr. Zelensky and Mr. Speaker would be in New York for the NATO meeting. Would I have stopped them? No. It would be wise. In any case, don't, don't, I don't have such powers. Now, because the meeting of BRICS was taking place, would I stop going to Russia because Ukraine is not ready to receive me because of time? No. Why? Because IPU stands for dialogue. IPU is talking about parliamentary diplomacy. And it is in that context that I did all that I did. And I thought I would be given a little credit for all the efforts that I've done, not to be crucified for things that I have not. You're asking here who mandated me? Who mandated the former president who came from the 12 plus to visit Kiev? Who, who mandated him? Please, I think we have to reach a point where I have explained myself several times to you 12 plus, to everybody else who cared to understand. I would like to inform my colleague that you might note that in November last year, I visited Palestine, and I visited Israel, and I met the leaders. And that was my first visit after becoming president in October. So it's not like I have ignored what is happening in the Middle East, what is happening in Lebanon, what is happening in Gaza, and what happened in Israel. So I treat I treat all the conflicts the same way. Why is it that it's looking like I have met this person and say, therefore the president of IPU has over, all of a sudden become a monster. Please treat me with dignity the same way I am treating with you, you with dignity. The Interparliamentary Union is an international organization of national parliaments. Its primary purpose is to promote democratic governance, accountability, and cooperation among its members. Putin met with Axon, who is the current speaker of the National Assembly of Tanzania in St. Petersburg in July. She added that, with the BRICS summit next week, she would not be stopped from going to Russia. Let us know your thoughts on what just happened during the inter-parliamentary session.